Project Management Institute presents Project Management National Conference 2012. Project Management India brings together thousands of practitioners across industries, government and NGOs to exchange ideas on challenges and emerging trends in the field. The key objective? To aid projects that are contributing to achieving national objectives. The Project Management National Conference 2012 was designed to provide a common platform for professional development. Welcome in several different languages because this conference has people from across the world. Not just Asia, we have attendees from across the world. The theme this year was project management for sustainable competitive advantage. Here in India we have me members of our global executive council such as Infosys, uh, Engineers India Limited as examples. They're highly mature in project management and they focused and invested on project management years ago so that they could compete more in the worldwide market. In government we see a focus as well in India. So in the National Institute of Smart Government as an area where they're actually focusing on project management as a capability to deliver results. The approach paper to the 12th five-year plan in India has project management as a focus of it so that they're, they're aware that project management is a skill that can be taught and it can be utilized to deliver project and program value to stakeholders. That's very similar everywhere in the world. There's an increased focus and a disparate level of maturity. But I can tell you and assure you that worldwide there is an intense focus on improving project and program management and there will be a competition to have the right talent in your organization, whether it's private or public sector. We know that today, based on a study that we did, there's 400,000 or nearly 400,000 project management related jobs being created every year for the next 10 years in India. The conference focused on the role of project management in transforming businesses and society at large. This is conference is uh, something which has been very different from all the previous years. Primarily uh, from a number perspective, it has been something which we have had the largest number of delegates, about 1,200 delegates coming in for this conference. More importantly, the theme which we selected for this conference, the sustainable competitive advantage, has basically two elements in this which is very, very important for us. One is sustainability and one is competitive advantage. From a conference perspective itself, if you look at all the work which we've been trying to do in this conference, it's been go green, to just to express the theme. But the more important factor here is the sustainable competitive advantage. What project management brings to organizations is the competitive advantage. Because today it's extremely important when you take up any project to be able to deliver it on time, within scope, as, as per the scope and within time. Therefore, this is what becomes a competitive advantage for the organization. Now what is important therefore also is that it cannot be a one-off case of having a competitive advantage for a year or two years. It is to ensure that this competitive advantage is also sustained over a period of time. Which means that basically you need to ensure that project management practices are adopted. It is matured as it, as it goes along. And this, since this profession is an ever-changing profession, we need to ensure that the processes and the adoption is all kept up to date. The conference was focused on educating companies on the importance of having trained and professional project managers in their ranks. We need a lot of qualified project managers in our country because as you see India is growing and the demand for skilled workers is growing exponentially and as the demand for workers grow the demand for project managers who can manage the workers is also growing exponentially. So there is a lot of scope for project managers and it's not just project managers, we need qualified project managers, that's what is required. So ladies and gentlemen, there's a huge opportunity for India. Next through three to four decades, India will be building a completely new India. You need a totally different, innovative and creative approach. You need a far more sustainable growth. You need a growth to charter out a green growth of strategy. And you need to do this, if you get your master planning right, you build a transit-oriented development. And that's why you're seeing so many new projects on metros being driven in India now. Every city wants a metro. And therefore, to my mind, there's a big opportunity. But there's a big challenge. And the challenge is of big thinking. Challenges of bringing skills. Challenges of bringing the best program management skills into this project 
and delivering and creating a new India which only good young program managers and project managers sitting in this room can do. Providing insights into project managers having the potential to become future leaders and game changers was Vice Chairman and CEO of HCL, Vineet Nair. When you look at an imperfection in the organization, do you get excited? Do you say, dear organization, wow, I can fix this for you. And whenever you see imperfections around, you get excited, do you? Or do you always fall back on excuses and saying, it can't be done because? If you can give me ten because, I can give you ten more. But Gandhi never gave because. Martin Luther King never gave because. Because the world is not for because. The world is people who seek imperfections. Do you have an architecture of change? That means, if you're going to bring about a change, do you have an architecture of leading the change, not managing the change? However, you are always in the business of showing how things are good. So the first step is to start with showing where the problem is and showing we are in deep shit. Because that is the first step of revolution. The second step is to show a vision of tomorrow which is so compelling that people will jump up from out of the bed and want to work for you. You know, when you stop by answering those questions in small syllables like that and do not define a vision and connect the vision of what is in it for the organization, you stop at the level where the manager does not become a leader. Project Management Institute presents Project Management National Conference 2012.